We're doing very badly at protecting our biodiversity. Uh, we better change our ways uh, or else we're going to be in big trouble. And, you know, it's mostly because of humans. Uh, we are eating up habitat uh, for development, for oil and gas production, uh, logging, and uh, we're going to suffer from it. Biodiversity is just this web of life. It's not just the species, animals, plants, trees, but there are like very close linkages. Um, there are these, you know, closed, a closed web is a healthy web. One where you see the grasses feeding rabbits, feeding Canada lynx, but also helping us. Um, the eco what are called ecosystem services that uh, biodiversity provides can help us clean the water um, and provide us clean water. Uh, our national forests, where a lot of species are protected, uh, they provide 60 million people clean water every year. For those of us across the globe who can, one of the most important things that they can do is support policies that protect the landscape, that protect areas of important habitat from development, from pollution, from other threats that will keep the species that live in those lands there forever. I am finding more and more every year I get heartened by people having a better understanding being more aware of what we're doing to the earth and thinking about their own behaviors. You know, the 1800s and early 1900s and throughout uh, that century, we didn't really think much about it. We didn't know what our long-term impacts would be of overhunting, overfishing, and all of the clear-cut logging that, we've, that humans have done in the past. So it's, it's a sad time. But I think that there's already a revolution, you know, especially in the younger people um, that, you know, aren't willing to take it anymore. Thank you. 